Good morning. Very difficult, very difficult from um, the outcome of the game where um, we thought we played a really, really, really good football game, really competitive game, uh, to waking up yesterday morning and um, come in here to grade the film and prepare uh, for Cal and being told uh, that a uh, tire uh, you know, life-changing experience occurred, you know, when you move your family here and um, do everything we can to uh, help Coach Mora um, win as many championships as possible to be, uh, for changes to happen. It's, uh, it's never good. It's very emotional. Um, we, we, we love Coach Mora. Our family loves Coach Mora. My daughters, uh, you know, can't get enough of, of them. And uh, we are, uh, we're just, it's been a very sad 24 hours. How is he holding up right now? Uh, I, I've uh, only spoken to him briefly, but I know that he loves his team, and I know that um, he's gonna miss uh, he's gonna miss him very much. How, how did you guys find out? Um, I uh, I was called in and I spoke with uh, Dan and Josh, and they told me. <laughs> was that Josh? Rebholz. Rebholz. Okay. Yes. And they asked you if you'd be willing to do the interim. Yes. Exactly. What was that conversation like? Uh, it was pretty short in that regard. It was that, um, unfortunately, in this business, uh, changes are made. And when you still have games left to play, uh, we need somebody to take on the role of head coach uh, for uh, the remainder of the time that we're uh, playing this regular season and the bowl season. And um, would I be willing to act in that capacity? Do you expect to be considered for the permanent job? I think you have to ask them that question. Would you like to be considered for it? I think that anybody uh, would like to be the head football coach at a extremely prominent university. Uh, in this case right now, where my mind is, my mind is 100% on trying to get our seniors to 6-0 and and to uh, leave Coach Mora's legacy and one that he was able to get five out of his six teams to bowl games. Did you uh, address the team after Coach Moore yesterday, or how did that kind of go? I did very briefly, and I just said it was a very difficult time for our team, for our coaches, for our players, and um, that all of our thoughts are uh, first off with Coach, uh, and secondly, um, they're with our graduates that uh, potentially might uh, have one or two football games left. Not everybody makes it to the NFL. So if this is your last game, uh, you want to do everything you can to be able to strap on a helmet and uh, shoulder pads one more time to be able to play. And uh, we have an opportunity to have two more games if we, if we do that right. How do the players react to the news or how do you think they're dealing with it now? Um, well, you're going to obviously uh, ask them that question, but we all know how much our players love Jim. Uh, they love Coach. And, and he uh, has an enormous heart for them. He recruited every one of them in this class. So he sat in all their locker living rooms. And uh, so I would imagine that they're uh, greatly affected by it, as we all are. Uh, whether you've coached with him for nine months or all the six years he's here, uh, he makes it a tremendous impact on you as a player and a coach. You said change is difficult. Do you, uh, did you feel like this was uh, came out of the blue? You were blindsided? Or did you feel like change was in the air? No, I had no idea. I had no idea. I thought we played a great football game against a great football team. I, I had no idea. How, how does this uh, change the approach with recruiting for the next few weeks? Uh, we're going to recruit uh, to UCLA. Uh, we're going to recruit to the number one public institution in the country. We're going to recruit to incredible facilities. We're going to recruit to um, a building that just opened. And uh, we're going to do everything we can because um, that's our job. And everybody, every one of our coaches are professionals, and that's what we're going to do. What was the response like? I'm sure you t talked to some kind of guys yesterday. What was the response like from those kids who were making up their minds? To uh, I don't think we're allowed to talk about recruits. How does this change kind of your your day-to-day uh, -day stuff? Obviously, you still have to run the offense, but uh, taking more on your plate. Yeah, right now, I mean, we're, we're, we have a short week. Uh, we're playing on Friday. We have a great defensive staff. We have a defensive coordinator who's called 
180 games or whatever, 13 years as a defensive coordinator. Um, I've called every play this year. Uh, so my job is really to do the best I can to game plan uh, for Cal, to put the best possible plan in for Cal. Um, Coach Bradley will do the same on defense with the defensive staff. And then if there are any uh, urgent matters that that somebody has to make a decision on or whatever, then, then so be it. But right now, um, our goal moving forward is just to move forward as a team and to get our team to be 6-0. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's been like 12 years or so that they've been undefeated at home. And uh, what an incredible legacy that would be to leave, uh, to stamp this season with that first game win where you had the second largest comeback in the history of college football, and then to end it with being 6-0 at home and uh, giving these kids the opportunity to play in a bowl game, which would be, uh, which is what everybody in college football strives for. Of all the challenges in your coaching career, where does this rank in terms of, you know, last week of the season you have to take over and lead the team to a win to get to a bowl game? Uh, by far the hardest challenge um, because uh, it's, uh, it's unfortunate circumstances. Um, it's for a head coach that literally our family loves and um, for somebody that gave us an incredible opportunity to come out here. So how does it matter? It, yeah, it's, an, it's a very, very difficult circumstance, but it's one in which uh, that's just the way, um, that's the way it's worked out. They've asked me to do it, and I believe that uh, it's my responsibility to try to help this football team get to 6-6, six and six, and I will do everything I can to do that. You have a pretty extensive uh, web of coaches in, in high places. Do you kind of reach out for them some, for some advice, or have they reached out to you? And I, uh, both. Both. Um, I've had uh, some really good conversations with a lot of um, former and current head coaches who have, um, you know, given, given great advice that I'll keep confidential, but um, stuff that I, you know, I, I think it's just one of those situations that we're four days uh, before a game, uh, against a rival. I just told our guys that, you know, you go on Wikipedia and you type in UCLA football and it says there's two rivalries. There's USC and there's Cal. And um, that's the case. Then we've got a rivalry game at home to go 6-6, six and six, to go 6-0 and oh at home, to uh, be in a bowl game. And um, what we said to our team is that that will leave um, Coach Moore's legacy here that out of his six years, he took five teams to bowl games. And that's what our plan is. Okay? Thank you guys. I